Hello there and welcome to this video on spirit guides and um, the spirit team. So what are spirit guides? Spirit guides are our non-physical helpers, pretty much our best friends. They are the only people that truly know us because they're with us all the time, at appropriate times that is, and they're here to assist us on our spiritual and earthly path. Not just spiritual, but also keeping us safe and um, on our path of what we need to learn. Now what I come to understand is that our spiritual life is spiritual in nature because we are learning wisdom, we're learning earthly things that helps us to gain more understanding about this physical world on earth, in this physical world where we have to learn things and go through lessons and trials and everybody is in a, in a different path of learning so that's why there should never be any judgment with anybody because everyone's on their own level you know we're all reaching the same direction the same place of home and love and it all depends on our progress and we cannot do this progress without the help of our spirit guides that when we are lost we are we are reaching out sometimes at the last minute of like please god help me but really it's our spirit guides that can help us too Yes, if you have a belief in God and the source, Big G, or a religion that you you are, you know, a religion that you follow, then it's important to obviously have that belief and the understanding and knowing that there is something beyond us there that is supporting us. But, you know, I guess God, I don't really like the word God, I guess Big G, the source, of all there is, is busy in many different areas and whatever he or she or they are doing, it, it depends. But spirit guides are our first pro, uh, point of call. So you're looking like a big business, you know, let's take um, Tesla, for example, that's quite a you know, big company or, or Apple. Now you won't approach the, the main person that who uh, owns the whole company because it will be a slow contact. You'll be contacting the, um, the contact support basically and this is what a bit like you know spirit guides are like um, they are our first point of call but they are attuned to us they are ones that are constant helpers I know it's probably a bad idea or understanding but hopefully you see a bigger picture there is that guides come and go like friends and people in our lives come and go too same as jobs and animals and everything you know everything in is, is in a state of flow and with that flow, we change sometimes. We go into a new path of learning and understanding and we enter into different jobs and, and everything like that. So along the way, we have different guides that support us in different ways. But I believe, and I know for sure, that we have a consistent guide with us throughout our whole life who's always there, who's guiding us, who's patient and doing their best. And it's, it's, it's hard work because imagine if you're speaking to your medium in the spirit world, if you are a spirit and you're, you have a medium to connect with and you're constantly trying to get their attention and they don't listen, it's difficult. But there will be times when they do. And the more you attune and meditate and aware of these energies, then you might, be, you might hear your name being called or you might have a sign or a synchronicity uh, or dreams. And um, through this, the more you interact, then these guide forms can become more fluid and strong. Now, also to understand your guides is another different subject, but to get more in tune with your guides and to understand who they are, you may have a desire for a, a pastime favor, like 1950s music, that's like my thing. I have a very strong connection there, not only because I had a past life, but I'm very sure that a, gu a guide working with me potentially is working from that time. But I also have, I feel there are other guides working in very ceremonial cultures uh, from different religions and faiths and practices of, of deep trance and meditation, which is what I bring into my events. Um, I don't call myself a shaman, I don't call myself anything as a title, I am basically a researcher, I'm a facilitator and a healer, and I do my best to give my best to people. I have done mediumship in the past, I've done platform mediumship, um, as well as consistent healing and leading uh, um, development circles. Um, 
but that's like I feel not me sometimes and I like to hold the space in a group energy for allowing people to journey and get their own results for themselves. So me as a, I guess, maybe a circle leader or a facilitator in, in spiritual development, I know the tools and techniques that help people to get to where they want to go. But the only thing that's missing is time. You cannot buy time, but you can make time. So making that time to connect with your guide is very, very important. So once you have that connection with your guides, and not always, when you're working with the non-physical energies and you are meditating and connecting with spirit, then you start to build up a spirit team of a load of guides together that are assisting and working with you. So this is the next step after accessing and understanding who your guides are. We don't always fully understand because we don't always have communications with certain people in the spirit team. But things evolve and grow and change. And when we are especially involved in seances, in home circles, um, then these spirit teams start to work more together. So physically, as when people come together to um, work in a group for a home circle, so you have five, six people who are dedicated in a home circle, which is a beautiful and amazing experiences or healing circles, then each one of those five people also has a, you know, a, five, a guide each. And so that becomes like the spirit team that then operates these for five physical people operating in that space. Hopefully you're following this. So basically everybody has a guide. And then if everybody of those six people in the de development circle or home circle is being consistent in their weekly meetings, then they form a spirit team. And once that spirit team has been formed through time, at the right time, then other non-physical um, personalities, um, persons of spirit, non-physical friends, guides, angels, whatever you want to call them, slowly more and more will build up because you perform like a lighthouse, like a beacon of light. And as your light grows and, and grows together as the small group, you know, strengthens their energies and becomes more stronger, then you become this beacon of light and allows more um, spirits to be interested, intrigued. And along the lands of these non you know, of this physical world, there is non-physical realities embedded in like an onion, you know, within this current time frame, there's also a non-physical counterpart of this where we enter into dreams also. And so there are spirit helpers, guides, these could be shamans, nurses, they could be doctors, scientists, they can be practitioners, artists, anything you can think of because they've mastered that part of their their current world and they're going into so you know the more you work together as a as a as a dedicated circle a home circle you strengthen the connection with your guides each or you get to learn who your guides are and in that process you form a spirit team within the home circle and this is what the spirit team is and it changes and grows but you also have consistent amount of people and there are there are spirits that take a back seat but perhaps that seat back seat and stand watch and don't ever interact we found that before in a number of different circles so the, the development of spirit teams um, is very important as well as your own strengthening of your dedication to spirit which is very easy to do it's, it can be time consuming you may not always get results straight away but Keep with it, dedicated, and things will pick up. But things sometimes need to change. People come and go and leave and try things around. If things aren't working for many, many months, try something else. Um, but consistency is the key. You know, play it around, perhaps do some healing in the beginning, then do some opening up and uh, tuning in. Sometimes you can spend hours and hours in your, in your home circle room. <laughs> which is very, very important. So thank you for watching and I hope you check out the rest of the videos on this subject and I'll see you there.